Peace Movement, September the 15th, 2016. I'm bringing up some old uh, news articles and some new news articles. The news is financial martial law. Okay. Back in 2011, Michigan then passed a bill for financial martial law where they could hijack your bank accounts and put it back into the economy. Okay, folks? And that's some disturbing news. Okay? FDC. This is from May 20, uh, 2016. If you scroll down, J.P. Morgan, um, at the top of page 11, if you just hit this, the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, it's going to pop up a PDF and you can read it, has revealed a 19-page letter sent to J.P. Morgan Chase Bank. The federal regulators revealed that they have identified a deficient in J.P. Morgan's winding down plan, which, if not properly addressed, could pose serious advertising effects to financial stability of the United States. You guys could check that out at the bottom. So what is financial martial law? Financial martial law, I just uploaded a video where Ron Paul talks about it. He was uh, one of the people years ago as a senator. He'd been a senator, governor, all that. Okay, he worked for the Federal Reserve, and he tried to help out people. Okay, folks, but on uh, October 1st, 2016, the IMF is letting China enter the global reserve currency. All right, when China enters the global reserve currency, a lot of country, including Russia, China, North Korea, South Korea, are instead of using the United States dollars as the world currency is going to invest in the Chinese SDR yen as the world's global currency, folks. I just want people to be prepared, okay? And when our economy collapse, I'm not sure if it's going to look like it's, they're going to let it collapse. Our stock market's been doing kind of bad for the past week. Today, we did good. We're up. But around the world, our stock markets have down, been down 400 points last Friday, a couple hundred this week, and now we just recovered today by 177 points. Okay, so when our economy collapse, before we get into more detail, I'm not sure if they're going to pose and make it look like a false flag event from a cyber attack that they keep on uh, posting all over the internet, like... And it ain't saying that a cyber attack could happen. Um, they're just saying it's gonna happen. But they they, they said that it could knock out our economy. All right? I remember on October 1st, 2016, the government hands over everything, how they control the internet to ICANN, or to the UN. All right? Then this article says, Wall Street admits a cyber attack could wipe out the banking system at any time. I'm afraid that they might use that as a way to wipe out uh, or a false flag event that looks like our economy collapsed, not from our debt that we owe trillions of dollars, almost $20 trillion, and it's going to be $20 trillion by the end of the year. But if it's going to be a cyber attack that looks like it took down the banks and all of a sudden our economy collapsed, that would just be a false flag event because our economy just collapsed. In this article, um, the IMF is talking about making globalization work for all. They're talking about the New World Order. In this article, the past week, uh, oil has tumbled down. Even though it's a good thing, oil's cheaper. But it's not good since people ain't investing in the blue chip stock. In this article, stocks tumble. And that's the reason uh, the forecast sends oil prices lower. lower. Uh, coming up this week, the Central Bank and the Federal Reserve is holding an emergency meeting. They're talking about how they're going to higher inflation. Um, also, breaking news, um, this Bank of Japan risk running out of bonds to buy. And earlier this year, August 17, 2016, Japanese banks running out of bonds to sell. 
okay? And they're part of the global reserve currency, so they they want to sell off all their bonds, and they're going to enter with China with the new SDR and uh, the new currency that they're evolving. They're trying to get rid of the American dollar as the world global currency. And there's a lot of possible ways that when our economy collapses, it's going to look. The first possible way is going to look like a cyber attack. And it's going to be a false flag presence. Saudi. Saudi Arabia. All right. Threatens America. All right. To sell off all their bonds. Saudi threatens U.S. passage of September law will lead to unstable chaos and extremists. And what they're talking about is in, on September 11th, the commission found out that Saudi Arabian top officials were supporting the terrorists. All right. And we all know it was an inside job, false flag events on American soil. But what's crazy about this, let's just zoom in. And the article is going to be at the bottom. Saudis, however, are not taking any chances and are back to engaging in the same verbal warning they unleashed in April last year when they suggest passage of the law forced the king to sell its U.S. dominated reserve. So Saudi Arabia is ready to sell the U.S. dominant reserve, okay? And if they do that, they're going to buy Chinese dominant reserve. All right, China is the second world's largest economy. China wants to become the world's largest economy. And since we're the world's number one economy, half our money, half the trillions of dollars we own to China. Once China becomes in the IMF, they're going to regain the money that we owe them. And it's going to make our economy go below them. It might take weeks, it might take months. But by next year, by February 2017, we are definitely going to see economy collapse between October and 2017 February. All right, that's why our government's selling the internet to ICANN, the UN. That's why they're talking about cyber attacks could bring down our banks. That's why Japan can't even sell its bonds or buy any more bonds because they're broke. That's why the UK is going broke because of Brexit. And Japan warned about that. Okay, folks, I want everyone out there to be prepared. Okay. Also, I got more breaking news. All right. It's just a lot of stuff going on. I just want everyone out there to be prepared. Our economy is about to collapse. All right. On October the 1st, I'm going to repeat it one more time. China becomes an IMF member and one of the six global reserve currency. Japan is one of them. They can't sell off bonds or buy any more bonds because they're broke. UK, the pound, and the European Union, they're going down, okay, because of the division between UK wants to get out the European Union. That's two out of six, okay. The fourth is the United States of America, and we own China. The fifth, Russia. The sixth, China. Russia and China, they're going to make China's uh, yen, SDR, more available. Saudi Arabia is going to invest in it. They already got 56 states around the world. They ready, China ready to create a new global currency that's investing in all these new banks around the world. They ready to create a new central banking system, folks. And I want everyone out there to be prepared. And when our economy collapses, they might just let it collapse normally. Even though it's collapsing right now and they're doing a slow, like Brazil, it's collapsing a little bit at a time. Uh, Argentina is collapsing. Um, Europe, Italy, a lot of countries, folks. I just want everyone out there to be prepared. You can check out all the articles at the bottom. This is the No Face Movement. Movement, movement to next time. Facing off, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter, Facebook. And I'm going to bring more on this information, okay? And it's pretty big when Saudi Arabia, that we get all our oil from, is threatening that they passed the 9-11 victim um, because they were labeled the, as one of the members that supported terrorists. And they're going to allow people, the victims, the families that were involved to sue Saudi Arabia. And uh, Obama keeps on passing a veto to bill that uh, they don't want... Uh, 
the victims to sue Saudi Arabia, but it's not up to the president. He could veto all he wants, but it's not going to happen because Congress does not want that. And if that happens, well, then U.S. dominant reserves, the kingdom is going to sell our world reserve currency, okay? Since a new world reserve currency on October the 1st becomes a member, and that's China. Number one economy is America. Number two is China. Number two, China doesn't owe no country trillions of dollars. Number one, America, we owe China more than half of our trillions of dollars. And this is one way that they're going to take over our country. It's going to either look like a giant cyber attack since all our electronic devices got RFID chips and chips made in China where they could push a button and shut off all our, all our electronic compounds from your Samsung device to your iPhones that's made in China to everything made in China. I want everyone out there, please be prepared. This is the No Face Moon. Please rate, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Facebook. This is the movement, moving, moving to next time, facing off.